million users was taken without permission, and it all started with a personality quiz. News Center 7 consumer reporter Rachel Murray is here live to show you what you can do about it and what you need to know about this data grab. Rachel? Cheryl and James, first the bad news. It's likely you've already given away private information through a Facebook quiz or app. The good news is you can take steps now to stop it and make sure it won't happen again. You can't take back the information that's already been sent to those companies. Facebook is under fire after it was revealed that Cambridge Analytica tapped profiles of more than 50 million users. I've always thought people were a little bit too loose with their data on Facebook. When they do that stuff, they're abusing things, period. This data grab was through a personality quiz app. Gail Jenkins with DNA Computers tells me the quiz asked for permission to get your profile information and more. So they could get all the pages that you liked, a list of all your friends, and then lists of all the pages that they liked. So that's how basically 200,000 quizzes turned into a database on 50 million people. But it's not just this particular app you should be worried about. You've probably already given away a lot of information, and unfortunately, that information is used to manipulate people. We looked at my Facebook and over 70 apps were using my information. What is apply magic sauce? According to their website, they translate individuals' digital footprints into psychological profiles. Yikes. Let's remove it. So that one's gone. To do this on your phone, open your Facebook app, click the menu, find account settings, then apps. And you can go in, you know, one by one and adjust those settings or delete them. From a desktop or laptop, log on to Facebook, click the upper right triangle, click settings. On the left, go to apps, click the X next to the app to delete. You can completely turn off third party apps, but Jenkins recommends deleting them one by one. And if a quiz or app asks for permission in the future, don't use it. Reporting live, Rachel Murray, News Center 7.